Star Trek Sarek is a book written by A.C. Crispin, and I listened to the Audible version, which is read by Mark Leonard. Sarek follows uh, the character named Sarek, who is a supporting character in the original Star Trek series and films. And it turns out Sarek, uh, Spock's dad, finds out that there is a conspiracy to, uh, to separate the Vulcans from the Federation. There are these protests, uh, the xenophobic pro protests that are happening on Earth. Sarek finds this to be a very odd thing, especially since Vulcans and humans have coexisted peacefully for so long and how important it, other alien species are to the Federation. And he starts to figure out that perhaps that this might have something to do with the recent uh, peace treaty that has been going on between the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Now this book takes place shortly after Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, and it has a lot to do with the aftermath of that film. So I, I will say that if you're not a Star Trek fan, like if you haven't seen most of the movies or some of the TV series, you're going to be a little bit lost. However, for somebody like me who has seen all the original series, who has seen all the movies, who has seen most of Next Generation, I can say that this is a real treat to listen to. And I think Sarek is one of my favorite characters, which is one of the reasons I want to listen to this audiobook. And of course, having Mark Leonard read the book, the actor that portrayed the original Sarek, is an extra treat within itself. Because Mark Leonard, it's it's great how he narrates this book because he doesn't just like it never feels like he's phoned it in. I've always loved his performance as this character and when he's reading the dialogue as as Sarek he sounds like Sarek and then when he's reading dialogues from other characters there's like a hint of Leonard Nimoy in, in the tone of his voice when he reads for Spock and even a hint of like William Shatner when he's reading Kirk and so on and so forth but it's just, he's a really terrific actor and he's got a really great reading voice. Sarek is an interesting character because of his dynamic with his son Spock. And I love Spock. And it's well known throughout the series and the films that Spock and Sarek's relationship is really rocky because Sarek did not want Spock to go into the Federation to be a science officer. He wanted him to be a science officer on Vulcan. But Spock was like, you know, if I join the Federation, I'll be able to be a science officer who gets to explore and learn more about everything else that's out there. Whereas if I stay and just be a science officer on Vulcan, I'm kind of limited. But at the time, Sarek felt it was very important for him to more or less stay with his people and was worried about how Spock would be influenced by the emotions of humans and their uh, and their habits. But um, as we see throughout the films, we see that Sarek starts to respect Spock's decision. And that, that's like a, a really nice tidbit I really loved about uh, the character development throughout the films. As they had like they they took time for little moments like that. It wasn't just about the the, whole, the big universe. There was, you know, character development throughout the films as well. And that being said, Sarek does Sarek does show up later um, in Next Generation. He's about like 200 years old, and by this time, him and him and Spock's relationship has gotten pretty rocky by that time. And for me. The book written by A.C. Crispin answers a lot of those questions of how they start to get to that point because there's like little hints. Um, during the events of this book where Sarek is trying to figure out who is behind this conspiracy, Spock's mom is dying during this book and so Sarek is, Sarek is in a tough position. He's trying to figure out do I continue to try to save the, the Federation and its relationship with Vulcan, or do I stay with my wife who is dying? And it creates this void between him and Spock that uh, would eventually grow, would lead to their almost non-existent relationship. Sarek's story and being like in his head and how he's dealing with his wife who is sick and his 
failing relationship with his son and trying to figure out this uh, plot is it's really fascinating stuff. Uh, Sarek is a great character, um, but overall it's it's a good listen. It's a three hour listen. It's a dramatization so there's like sound effects and uh, there's music too so I, I really liked that. But overall it's a good book for Star Trek fans. I don't because I don't know how to look at it from the perspective of somebody who isn't familiar with Star Trek because I'm so familiar with the series and its mythology. I don't know how to say definitively how it would fare with somebody who is not familiar with the series at all. Um, I mean, why would you care if you weren't familiar with all the backstory between Spock and Sarek? Um, but other than that, it's a terrific read and it's a terrific listen. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're a Star Trek fan. So what's your favorite Star Trek film? Do you have a favorite episode? Comment below, let me know. My books are available on ebook and paperback. Live long and prosper.